hello um here we have a whirlpool WTW 5000 DW1 top load washer um this is like a two three month review I moved in in February and it is now April I currently have the mop head in here because the mop head is smelly so before I go out and buy a new one because it's supposed to be washable I'm going to go ahead and wash it with some fabric freshener and oxyclean um this washer has a bunch of load cycles it's perfect for anyone it's got light light medium heavy cold and okay hold on it's got light extra i mean it's got extra light light medium heavy tap cold cold <laughs> cool warm hot um quick wash delicate casual cold wash normal deep water wash heavy duty bulky items drains and spin rinse and spin and clean washer with afresh which is basically it uses hot water and fills the tub and you drop a tablet from afresh in um rinse options are one rinse two rinse one rinse with softener two rinses and it's got pre-soak options too so in other words I'm gonna hold this for three seconds to drain it Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in some laundry soap. My choice is OxyClean and I'm not sponsored by them or anything. It's just it doesn't it I am using this basic fabric softener from Walmart. Now we're going to go ahead and put this on cold wash. And I'm going to read thing here um cold wash basically fills here but i'm actually gonna put it on quick wash because we don't need it that full unless i could find the express wash but this this doesn't have express wash so we'll put it on quick wash with pre-soak on top cold because it's cotton you know. I'm gonna pause that and go ahead and do a review on the dryer. So basically how they hooked us up, because this is a steam dryer, is they got a splitter down below. And it connects the steam to the dryer from, I believe, the hot of the washer. Um, now, um, the dryer does have a steam refresh setting, and it does have a loud signal. Um, you can do air dry, which is no heat, of course, and I like to do sensor dry. Which 
is pretty decent. You know, get the job done. I was gonna try to hold this button here and give you a little a quick here we go. Now the thing I don't understand with all washers and dryers I've ever seen is they get the blue staining from the jeans and stuff on them. I don't know. Um, there's where I believe the steam comes out of. Which, this is way better than, you know, the Maytag, um, one where you hang the stuff. Because... You, that one you have to refill the bottle on. This one you can just hook up and go. It comes with the basic large lint filter, which is good because you're supposed to clean this and it does get full of, you know, the hair and stuff that the washer didn't drain. Which is what people that hang their clothes miss out on if they have dogs or their hair falls out. And it's in their clothes, and they wash it, and then they hang it up and to dry instead of putting it in a dryer. Like, even putting it on air dry in a dryer, because the element ain't going to come on in a dryer, um, will send the lint into the filter. Um, it also has a wrinkle shield, temperature settings, buzzer on, off, but I like, I like the buzzer off. I'm going to go ahead and put the washer back on. And basically, see if I can get some footage of the washer in action. Which... might be possible. This is an agitator washer, as you can see. One thing about it is you got to clean the sides. We haven't done it in a while. Um, you know, it's your basic washer, but this thing gets used every day. And, you know, it gets hair and stuff on it. You got to clean it out. Who doesn't clean their washer?